Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. Happy New Year. Today is the very final day of 2019 and the final day of the whole decade. I'm going to show you what it's like outside here. It's, it's snowing. And we've had freezing rain and power outages. It's uh, not too bad today, but it is snowing out. Look at all that snow. So, before I do a final unboxing for 2019, I wanted to just one final thank you for the year for my members. I have uh, 12 members, and I also just added a uh, lower priced membership for those that want to check it out. And I tried to change actually the level that my members are on and lower the price, but you can't do it. You have to delete it and then you lose all your members. So that's stupid. But they can go to a lower level if they like. Anyway, thank you Juan S. My newest member, Vazio. MDA87, Andrew Harvey, Daner, Tom Harnius, Richard Dolan, Naughty Vampire God, Records with Robin, Do You Like to Watch, The Ralstonian Report, and Ringo Fire Mountains. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. Time for some wine. And some unboxings. And I'm also proud to announce that in exactly two weeks, my girlfriend Molly will be here again. And we'll do some hilarious videos. Oh, I also got a movie. I almost forgot. Anyway, magazines. <clears throat> I actually have not bought any magazines in a while. But I got Record Collector with Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young on the cover. I like I like these uh, these magazines because there's a lot of reading, and you know a lot of it, of course, is I guess a vinyl, and it's just an interesting read. Tom Waits. <clears throat> Rare vinyl. Article with Jeff Lynn from ELO. I forget, I don't know how you pronounce the name of the band. Marilyn? Mar Mar Marilyn? I've never been into this band. Sorry to say. Never really did check them out. Then, this nice article on Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. <laughs> it's, I, I watched a documentary on them on Amazon Prime. And it's funny how... You know, in the 60s, they, they were the main guys, right, for peace and love and everything. And, and, and nowadays, they basically don't, don't speak to each other very much. Kind of sad.
and all kinds of record reviews, so hours and hours of enjoyment. And the other magazine I bought, which I sometimes get, comes with a CD and I hardly ever play them. Classic Rock with Robert Planet on the cover. Oh, there's another CD. You know what? I actually got two of the same CD. This was glued. <coughs> this was glued inside it. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're very, very. I got two CDs. So, Robert Plant, Jimi Hendrix, Ginger Baker, Airborne, Joel Elliott, Ginger Baker. Focus, Sylvia, Robert Plant. Nice big article. This, uh, <clears throat> I will, will say about the end of this decade, this past December has probably been one of the most depressing months for me. And I know it is for, you know, other people, you know, Christmas holidays and all that, and not everybody is <clears throat> that happy. But, you know, I was away with, I was away from Molly. I, I haven't seen her in two months. Seeing her in two weeks. Finally, there's Robbie Robertson, and uh, so just, you know, know that even Canadian stud muffin gets down and out sometimes, but, you know, you just have to pull, pull your way through it and get by and move on. Joe Elliott, Def Leppard. I always knew he was a Sparks fan, and he's, I guess he's picking up vinyl records, of course. There he is, holding up Propaganda by Sparks. And the Rolling Stones, I love that. Uh, their Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Article on Jimi Hendrix. and all kinds of album reviews. So more good reading. The Who, they gave the new Who <clears throat> album, 8 out of 10 stars. I've heard it, it's very good. I might buy it. Just haven't gotten around to it. Rick Wigman. So, lots of, lots of pages to be scanned for my viewers. <clears throat> First, a DVD I bought. I had this years ago. And I don't know if Molly's ever seen, I mean, she's seen this character, of course, but she might not have seen all of the shows. This is the complete second season, the LED show. I think he's hilarious, for the most part. I mean, the, <clears throat> the character himself, I love when he does Borat, the uh, Bruno... It's kind of hit and miss with me. It's, I don't know. 
it's it's when he makes people really uncomfortable. It, it's I don't know. But anyway, I think my favorite is... I think Ali G is my favorite of his characters. And uh, Borat. Borat, too. So that's a double DVD. I'm not sure. My favorite one of his, I don't know if it's season one or season two, is his, his wine tasting, which is on uh, YouTube. It's like watching a, a Canadian stud muffin comedy video. It is hilarious. <laughs> and now for the box set. Uh, six... The six Swan Song albums, 1974-1982, uh, fully remastered. That's right, Bad Company. I bet you didn't know I was a fan, or am a fan, of Bad Company. Uh, I definitely bought uh, their albums when they were coming out for a while. The last one was Burning Sky, which I loved. It's really snowing out. Very nice printing job. One of my favorite labels, Swan Song. The, the design of it, of course. So that's Bad Company's debut album. Straight Shooter. Which I also liked. I didn't like it as much as, as the debut, but still very good. Run with the pack, which I definitely remember buying when it came out. This is po possibly, I think, my favorite Bad Company album, Burning Sky. All that, all that's included there. I guess it's the same as the original, I just don't remember. It doesn't open. So that was the final Bad Company album I bought. I do remember Rock and Roll Fantasy, a great uh, hit single they had, but I never did buy this album. Desolation Angels. Same label. And the final one on uh, Swan Song, Rough Diamond.
again the label. I will say this, there's a, uh, it's called the Empire Theatre in Belleville, Ontario, and they've had a lot of acts there. Cheap Trick, uh, Mark Farner of Grand Funk Railroad, uh, Styx, many, many, Peter Frampton, many, many bands through, throughout the years. And I asked somebody that, you know, that runs the Empire Theatre, who he thought was one of the best performers there, and he said, Paul Rogers the lead, lead singer for Bad Company and, of course, Free. He said he, he still had his voice and maybe it matured and, and even a better voice in some ways. And so he... That's who he name-dropped when I asked him. So that's it. Nothing too... too overly exciting. But... The final video of the year. And uh, so thank you all for <laughs> putting up with me for the past year, those of, those of you who have. And uh, thank you once again for all of the support and of course for me and Molly of course. And like I said, Molly will be in some videos coming up in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned for those. And. Uh, have a great Happy New Year, and don't drink and drive.